If you want free software for your computer, you have many choices. To separate out the good programs from the bad, I'll show you five free software for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux that are actually great. A few of which were recommended by viewers in the comments of prior videos. The criteria for this year is simple. The program must be truly free of cost and open source, with the source code freely available to the public to view, modify, and distribute for any purpose. Let's get started. Our first free and open source program is the Waterfox web browser. While most browsers are now based on Chromium, including Google Chrome, Vivaldi, Microsoft Edge, and the Brave browser, Waterfox takes a different approach and is based on Firefox. While Firefox does send telemetry data to its developer Mozilla, Waterfox does not. The only information they collect is your operating system and browser version to check for updates. You also get full access to Firefox add-ons with thousands of extensions and themes to choose from, including support for some of the legacy extensions no longer supported by Firefox after their quantum update a couple years back. When you launch Waterfox, the look is similar to Firefox with many of the same features. There's a search bar and a handy speed dial to quickly access your favorite websites. The default search engine is Bing. To change it, open the menu in the upper right and select Options. In the left pane, go to Search, and in the default search engine section, you have others to choose from, including Google, DuckDuckGo, Quant, StartPage, Wikipedia, and Yandex. Let's go with DuckDuckGo. If you'd like to add or manage your extensions or change the theme, open the menu again and select Add-ons. In the left pane, here you can manage the extensions, themes, and plugins already installed. One of my favorite themes is Dark Fox. I'll enable it now. It looks a lot better than the default Waterfox theme. To find additional add-ons to install, go to Recommendations and select Find More Add-ons. Waterfox also includes the Firefox screenshot tool, which is quite useful. To use it on any web page, click the three-dot menu icon to the right of the address bar and select Take a Screenshot. Your choices are Save Full Page, Save What's Visible, or you can just click and drag to select a region. After which, you'll have the option to copy it to your clipboard or download it to your computer. Waterfox is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Up next, SM players for those of you looking for an alternative to VLC Media Player. If you've used VLC, you belong to one of two camps. You either love it or you think it's total garbage. SM players should be less divisive because it simply works with less bloat. It supports most of the well-known file formats and codecs, so it'll play just about anything you throw at it. Other features include the ability to change the playback speed, subtitle support, and you can change the look of the player with skin and icon themes. If you've ever used a media player before, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out the interface. The feature I find to be the most useful is the auto bookmark, especially when watching a TV show or movie. Here's an example of how it works. If you've not finished playing your media and you close the player, it will remember where you left off. So when you reopen the media, it will continue to play from the spot that was auto bookmarked. SM Player is only available for Windows and the selected distros of Linux. Only Office is an Office suite I mentioned a couple years ago in our free software series, and since then has improved quite a bit. Now it's a strong contender to LibreOffice as the best free and open source Office suite and is an excellent alternative to Microsoft Office. Included with their desktop editors is an alternative to Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Their compatibility with Microsoft Word and Excel is nearly flawless, but their PowerPoint alternative still needs work. So if compatibility is important to you, I'd only recommend using their Word and Excel alternatives at this time. When you open any of the three editors, you'll notice the familiar looking ribbon at the top. Document is what they call their Word alternative. Spreadsheet is their Excel alternative. And for PowerPoint, they call theirs Presentation. Only Office also has an online version and products geared towards businesses. If you only want the free and open source desktop editors, here at the top, go to Products and Features and select Only Office for Desktop. Then click Download Now. It's available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Next up, BleachBit is the absolute best open source cleaner you can get to free up disk space and optimize your system. While you could do most of this on your own manually, do yourself a favor and just run this program to save your time and possible headaches. It's feature packed to help your computer run more smoothly and to maintain your privacy. 
It deletes cookies, deletes logs, removes temporary files, and clears cache and internet history. In addition, it also cleans dozens of programs, including Google Chrome, Firefox, Skype, VLC Media Player, and many others. Prior to running BleachBit or any other system cleaner, it's best practice to back up your system. You'll notice when you open the program, there are two panes. If you click on any category in the left pane, it will show you a description in the right pane what happens if you select any item in that category. Don't check any option if you don't fully understand what it does. If you select an option that might take a long time or delete passwords that are stored, you'll get a warning. It's your choice. You can either select OK to carry on or select Cancel to uncheck that option. And I'll cancel all these out. For this example, I'll check a few more categories. Let's go with Firefox. If you don't want it deleting your saved passwords, click Cancel. Let's go down here to Google Chrome, check that one. And of course I get that save password warning, so I'll cancel that one out. Let's scroll down here a bit to Microsoft Edge. Same warning about the passwords, click Cancel. When you're ready, first select Preview here in the upper left. When it finishes, you'll now see a report showing you the number of files to be deleted and the disk space to be recovered. To delete those files, to the right of Preview, click on Clean. Depending on what you selected, this could take a while to complete. BleachBit installation packages are available for Windows and Linux, along with special editions for Mac OS and email servers. Here's one for my fellow programmers. Visual Studio Code is a code editor for Microsoft that's completely free for personal and commercial use. It's built on open source under an MIT license with the source code freely available on GitHub for the community to explore and contribute to. Features include support for debugging, code refactoring, and intelligent code completion. It's also highly customizable with extensions to add languages, debuggers, and other tools to help with your development workflow. You can also change the theme and keyboard shortcuts. It has a great looking uncluttered layout. What's cool is if you're working with thousands of lines of code, you'll appreciate the preview pane on the right that lets you quickly jump to different parts of your code. To add any extensions, head over to the left pane and select the Extensions tab. You'll see those that you have installed and others that are recommended, or you can just do a search in their marketplace to see if what you're looking for is available. Let's do a search here for Ruby. If it's available, click Install. Visual Studio Code is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What is your favorite free software? Let us know about it in the comments so we can check it out. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our latest free software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.